So these questions always throw people off in the GCSE exam and people rarely know how to answer it. So let's take a look together. We've got bell A, which rings every 60 seconds, bell B every 30 seconds and C every 45 seconds. We're told that they all ring together and after how many seconds will all three bells ring together again? Now, these questions are just about finding the lowest common multiple of the three values we've been given. So we've got a 60, a 30 and a 45. So let's go ahead and find our prime factorization trees. So for 60, we can do it as two times by 30, then two times by 15, then three times by five. So 60 written as a product of its prime factors is two times by two times by three times by five. Doing the same now for 30, we can write this as two times by 15, and then we can separate 15 into three and five. So 30 as a product of its prime factors is two times by three times by five. And finally, for 45, we can go ahead and write this as three times by 15, and then we can separate our 15 into three times by five. So 45 as a product of its prime factors is three times by three times by five. Now, what we want to do to find the lowest common multiple of these three numbers is to take out any common factors to start. So we can see we've got a three here in each of our prime factors. So we've got a three. We've also got a five in each. So we can times it by five. And we can see we've got a two repeated as well between 60 and 30. We then just want to multiply this by any outstanding numbers. So that's two times by three. So we get 3 times by 5, which is 15. Multiplying that by 2 gives us 30. Multiplying by 2 gives us 60. Multiplying by 3 gives us 180. So they're going to ring together every 180 seconds.